Hey everyone, my name is Frankie Telford. We're here at Old Bull Athletics. And today I wanted to go over a tutorial on the kettlebell overhead press. Basically gonna go from the easiest, less complex movement all the way through the most difficult and the most complex movement. Essentially, we want you to train safe and effective on this time off away from the gym or even at home, if you're buying kettlebells for your, for your home gym or that's the only equipment you have, uh, we wanna make sure that you're doing that correctly. So as one of my favorite basketball players once said, make sure that you're training to be the same animal but a different beast. Okay, so the first exercise we're gonna go over is the kettlebell military press. So there's a couple different ways to get the bell from the ground into the rack position. Um, I like to use the pistol grip to where whichever hand I'm pressing with goes on top of the bell and then I take the other hand and I place it on top of it. So pistol grip between the legs into the rack position. So a little bit about the rack position, you wanna maintain a straight line between your, your wrist all the way down to your elbow. You wanna to try to drive that elbow down, straight down, not down and back, but straight down so you can get your lat engaged. And when you start to press the bell, both knees, both glutes, your core is tight and the opposite hand is squeezed. Breathe in. Press, when you get to the top, I want you to press with your palm facing directly forward. And as you come back down, you're gonna inhale, sip air, go for another rep, squeeze that fist, and press overhead. So an easy progression to the kettlebell military press would be both bells at the same time. Um, if you don't have both bells, obviously you work with one at a time until you get you know, used to it, but you can move right into the two bell system. All right, for the two bell system, you're, we're utilizing a double clean, so both hands on bells, or you can get somebody to help you out. Um, I'll demonstrate what that looks like. It's a lot like the swing, or I'll go for another tutorial about the clean itself. Core's tight, reaching the hips back, grabbing onto the bells, hiking between the legs, pulling both bells into the rack position. From there, finding that rack position for both bells, knees locked, glutes core squeezed, pressing overhead, sipping air, pressing overhead, pulling it back down. So that is the double kettlebell military press. Third variation is a little bit easier. So as we go along through the progressions for the military press itself, um, we have this thing called the cheat press or the push press. Um, the idea for the push press is the same as the military where we would go with one hand first and then move to both hands. Again, if you only have one kettlebell, you only have one option. So again, I'll show the pistol grip again for the clean. So from here, for the push press itself, we want to dip and then drive up. So dip, drive, press the bell overhead, pulling it back down to that rack position, nice stable lat here. Dip, drive, press the bell up, pull it back down. Dip, drive, press the bell up, pull it back down. The biggest thing for that is you don't want so the way up, you're allowed to leave the ground with your heels, but on the way back down, you wanna maintain those heels onto the floor as we pull that bell back into the rack position. So that's the kettlebell uh, push press. Obviously, we could do that with both bells and make it a little bit harder. Um, so they say you start with a military press, and as you start to get stronger with presses, you can move over to the push presses when you start to get tired. That moves into something called a jerk, which is another push press variation, but with a second dip. All right, so in slow motion, without a bell, so you can see it, you dip, drive, and right before lockout, second dip, and then stand up. Pull it back down into the rack position, or you might see people dip into the rack position, so they're using their legs to kind of leverage that weight push press, second dip to make it a jerk, then lock out, then pull that thing back down. So I'll demonstrate what that looks like.
So that is the kettlebell jerk. Obviously, it can be progressed both arms at the same time. So from there, we're going to go over something called the kettlebell uh, bent press or screw press. For this variation, you kind of have to learn how to get from a front rack position almost into that side rack position. So for the side rack position, you almost want to think about um, pulling this elbow almost into your back pocket, right? So your setup, if you were standing straight ahead, right, you want to bring both feet to a 45 degree angle, like as if you were going to do like a windmill. From there, you get the bell into your rack position. Pull that elbow back into that side rack position. I'll do it from the side so you can see it. And then from there, you're gonna bend your knees and rotate your spine and try to push yourself underneath that bell and then stand back up. So the bell itself is not actually moving. Um, once you get into that side rack position, wherever that bell is, it's really gonna stay there and you're gonna press yourself underneath the bell. Um, some people like to do more of like a hinge bent press. I personally like to do the hinge variation rather than the squat variation of the bent press. Squat variation of the bent press is the exact same thing, except most people will go straight ahead. Um, they'd get into that side rack position and then they'd press themselves underneath, but it'd be more of a squat position rather than a hinge and they pull it back down. So I'll, I'll demonstrate one so you can see what it looks like in the hinge variation. Okay. So from here, finding that side rack position, reaching and rotating to the bottom of the bent press and standing back up. I'll do that one more time. So let me know if you have any questions, comments, concerns in the comments below if you want to see something new. We'll see you next time here at Old Bull Athletic.